All right, guys, here we are. I have my Electro & Co. 72 volt, 24 amp hour battery. And uh, as you can see, it's a little torn apart right now. And what the plan is to swap to this daily Bluetooth. Um, so I'll be checking back in intervals and we'll be replacing this Bluetooth. This will be my first one. Fingers crossed it goes pretty good. Um, but yeah, first thing I'm gonna do, well, I've already done is disconnect the uh, balance leads and I'll be cutting these snip snip. And then from there, um, I'm going to go ahead and get all of my uh, new balance leads on because these are different connectors. So I'll be going through the sides, pull off the tape and going to solder all those on. All right, I'll be back. So I got all my balance leads swapped over. Um, I went through with my multimeter and attached one to ground and I made sure I was going up in increments of uh, 3.7, somewhere around that. So I'm making sure all my balance leads are in the correct row. But yeah, um, for now, I'm going to strip these out. Or to see these, I kind of covered it up with the old tape. But uh, I'm going to strip these and I am going to let me find the BMS, cut that and then solder all these together and then do the same for the negative on that. And from there I should be able to mount this up, tape everything up, plug in my balance leads and kick this baby on. Make sure it charges and all that good stuff. Get into the app, set it, do whatever I need to do. and. Uh, yeah, hopefully this will be my first successful BMS swap and um, kind of really introduce me into battery building. That way eventually I can um, actually build the pack myself, hopefully a Mala cell here in the future, and uh, just build something badass. And this is going to be my step one into getting comfortable. All right, let me get these soldered up and I'll be back. All right, guys, excuse my mess. As you can see, I got them all soldered together heat shrinked, wrapped in electrical tape, and then reheat shrinked. So we should be good to go to plug in all the leads, but for right now, I'm gonna get all of this cleaned up, tidied up, get it taped, and then from there, um, I think what I'll do is plug in the leads, connect it to the Bluetooth, make sure everything works, and then I think we'll be good to go. All tidied up to the best of my ability, Got my temp sensor down there. And then I have my Bluetooth dongle, which I'll probably tape onto the outside, like so. Something like that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, and let you know I connected to the Bluetooth already and everything's perfect. I think the cells are 0 .0002, um, far off from each other. So they're super close. Uh, all the cells look great. Um, but yeah, I think now I'm going to wrap it all back up, get my shrink wrap out and shrink wrap it, give it a charge, throw it back in the Mototech. Um, you know, I think I might mess around and throw like 140 amps through it, give it a rip and see what it feels like. But yeah, guys, let me get this wrapped up. I'll show you the finished product and we'll wrap this video. All right, guys, so check it out. I have it charging, kind of sketchy, sitting outside of the Mototech, you know, just in case anything happens. But uh, as you can see, let's see if I can get around here. Got to my Bluetooth dongle kind of sticking out there, so that way I can get to it if I ever need to wake it up for some reason. Um, so 
A couple reasons I did this swap is, <clears throat> one, I really wanted to learn. This is a great first step. And uh, another reason, the Ant Bluetooth, or the Ant BMS, um, I think it's Bluetooth, but I don't believe it had the Bluetooth connection for it. Um, basically, it was getting super hot and it was uh, leaving me stranded every once in a while. And I found out that the temperature leads were right next to it. So when the um, BMS was getting hot, it was cutting out when the cells weren't even that hot themselves. And hopefully this daily BMS will, um, being as big as it is, hopefully it'll help dissipate the heat a little bit better. And um, the main reason is uh, I can get into the Bluetooth check out all the settings, see where all my cells are at, and I can just pay a lot better attention to it, um, especially when I'm messing around trying to push 120 amps through this thing. Uh, obviously, I'm not doing it continuous. Um, I kind of just do it for the fun of it to see how fast I can get it to go. And, you know, I'd really like to be able to set the BMS to run around 140 amps so that uh, I can really push it and see what this thing can do. Obviously, it's not going to be a permanent thing. It's just going to be a one and done kind of rip because these cells really aren't rated for that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Cool learning experience. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I'm charging it up right now, keeping my eye on it so that way I can throw it back in the Mototech. Um, even though I said I was going to take the Mototech down, and get it all welded up for the foot brake and drop the pan down so I can put a larger battery in it in the future. Because uh, eventually I would like to put this 72 volt in the RSF permanently since that only runs about 60, 65, 70 amps with the ETM kit. Um, and it would just go great. The range is perfect on it. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed learning a little bit as much as I hate soldering. Yeah, guys, till next time. Peace.